Hey, it's me, MLV. Welcome back to Chapter 70 of Serendipity. This one is titled The Todoroki Resort. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You gasped when you saw what you'd done to his hand. Okay, all out, the pilot said with a smile as he stopped the plane's propellers and hopped out onto the wing, then dropped down and opened the side door of the plane. With shaking legs, you got down onto the sand and turned to watch Deku get down behind you. His hand was bleeding pretty badly, but he still didn't hesitate to grab you when it looked like you were about to fall over. Looks like your boat is here, pilot said as he lifted your luggage from the side panel of the plane. You looked at him, then over to where he gestured and smiled when you saw a quaint little boat with two people standing neatly beside the on-ramp. Thank you for the trip, you said to the pilot as you took your bags from him and bowed. Yes, many thanks, Deku added with his own bow. The pilot smiled. My pleasure. I'll be back same time next week to get you. You paled, your small smile quivering a little. I won't keep you any longer, he said, bowing once more before walking back to the doors of the plane and hopping back in. You and Deku looked at each other before heading over to the moored boat to greet the two who were waiting for you. The pair bowed as you and Deku got closer and your hero husband bowed to them in return. How do you do? The male of the pair asked politely. It is our pleasure as staff of the Todoroki household to escort you to your private island getaway. Thank you kindly, he said with a smile, greeting the female of the pair happily when she smiled back at you. Once pleasantries were done, you hopped aboard and sat down, ready for the boat ride to your secluded hotel. As the boat jumped to life, you looked over the side at the pure white sand underneath and kept watching as you got further and further out. The iridescent blue waters were so clear it was almost as if you were floating over the ocean floor and below small schools of fish shimmered along, their scales glinting as their tails flickered back and forth lazily, pushing them through the warmed waters of the tropical paradise. The male driver of the boat was giving Deku some details about the stay, and Deku was asking many questions, so you let him be and looked out across the water. It's whale season, the female host said as, you, as she sidled up and sat down. If you hear them at night, it's considered good luck. Oh, you replied with a smile. That's very cute. I'd like to see a whale up close. She smiled. It's very lovely out here. I do enjoy accompanying any of the Todoroki members to this island. I bet, you replied enthusiastically. You looked ahead, out the front of the boat, and saw the island in the mid-distance, with a wooden slat house up on the sands and a grassed section out the front. The island itself was small, and from where you were on the boat it looked like you could walk around the whole island in about a half hour. Here is your stay, the male said as he nosed the boat up onto the shoreline. We will bring your bags. The female quickly placed the ramp down from the side of the boat and helped you across onto the soft white sand while Deku followed afterwards, hiding his bleeding hand in his shorts pocket. You were ushered to the front door, where it was unlocked and pushed open for you, and Deku entered. The place was stunning. It looked to be modelled off a very old-style Japanese house with tatami mats lining the floor. This is beautiful, you said to Deku as you took your shoes off at the door and stepped in. It was an open plan, large lounge room area, sitting a step down from the rest of the place that looked out over the beach through lovely large glass windows. Around the perimeter of the lounge area was a step up to get to the dining table and kitchen that was again all open so that you could have a conversation from the kitchen to lounge area without any walls in the way. Please allow me to show you to your room. The female said once she'd given you enough time to take in the sights of the main area. She walked up beside the kitchen and headed through an archway into the back rooms, the archway opening into a smaller open lounge that overlooked a beautiful backyard and granite hot springs pool that was being fed by a small stream. Oh wow, you said, a little stunned by how beautiful it was. The water is solar heated, so you can have a swim at night and be comfortable, the female said with a smile. It's gorgeous, you breathed again, stopping at the window to take a better look. There were no fences out the back because, well, only the sea and air creatures would see you out here. Further on down the hall, the rooms branched off to the left and right, but the female led you and Deku to the room at the very end of the hall. This is the master bedroom, she said, pushing the door open and stepping back to let you in. The room was very spacious with a large glass window overlooking the beach again and small palm trees casting a decent amount of shade over that side of the room to block the harsh rays. It's amazing, you said again. This whole place was taking your breath away. Please allow me to show you the ensuite, 
the female said, gesturing to a door nearby. You followed her and she pushed the door open to reveal a large waterfall shower and spa on the other side. This place is so amazing I'm about to cry, you thought, standing there speechless in the doorway. Deku was just as awestruck as you were and was looking around in amazement. After she had let you look around a little, she walked to the bedroom door to leave. The pantry has been stocked for your stay and you are encouraged to eat everything provided, she said with a small bow. We all want you to enjoy your stay here. Oh, I'm sure we'll have a wonderful time, you said emphatically. Yes, of course, Deku added in. Thank you so much for your help. It's our pleasure. Please do not hesitate to call if you need us. We will be on the main island, she said with another bow before leaving. And there ends chapter 70. Stay tuned for chapter 71.